uh, the developed West was very, very excited and about the utopian ideas of how internet will change the world. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can ignore my voice. I knew. <laughs> so at that time, uh, 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 yeah, most of the West were really enthusiastic of how, how internet will change the world and how interactive art is better than the representative art before and blah, 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 blah. But living in the, in the proclaimed utopia as we used to live in, the, uh, in, in Eastern Europe where they were telling, trying to tell us that that's almost a perfect, uh, perfect society, we also developed some certain specific sensibility for these kind of things. And Alexei Shulgin and Lev Manovich and Boris Groys were telling to people, and I think that it's quite interesting uh, shift, that interactive art is just another way of manipulating the audience. So they think that they are actually free to choose, but uh, they are more like free to choose as like people who are in the experimental uh, psychological uh, labs or in whatever is the lab of CIA or KGB. So that's what we would like to see also uh, on, on, on our um, hack meeting. Um, there is, yeah, I'll be very, very short now. So 30 seconds. We would like also to talk about the flow of money and uh, possible autonomy which, which, which is coming from that because there is a big issue of how to finance and how to financially support any hackers meeting and are you enough independent if you are getting any kind of um, uh, support from foundation or whatever and the people are easily, especially if they are coming from the rich countries, they are easily uh, just for the solution where people are financing themselves from like individuals but then they they don't really see that those individuals are working for the corporations for the money and what is the real difference in doing that individually or trying to gather together and then trying to do that so that's that's really just for the discussion I don't have any answer but that's what we would like to talk about um, and of course, there is also discussion of possibility of uh, hackers gathering together in some relevant political collectives, and uh, but still keeping the notion of uh, uh, of hacking, which more or less means to hack is to defer. And of course, not just about discussions and and theoretical or, or whatever. We, we would like to see as just on any other hackers conference, uh, lots of sharing skills and knowledge, and we have some kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm off. Yeah, five minutes. Way off. Way off. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that goes more into informal, uh, uh, informal meetings, and yeah, it's and in that sense, it's just like uh, yet another hackers camp. I have a lot of flyers here, so I will just give you, so you just pick up as much as you want, and uh, yeah keep in contact. Thank you very much. Yo, thank you for that. Keep in mind, get another uh, hackers thing. Uh, the URLs have been posted on the IRC channel, so hopefully you were watching. I'm not sure whether anyone is keeping track of this, but I will come up with a text file hopefully containing everything. But typing it up as you go just is a little too much here. So I will do this later on and link from that, uh, link to it from this page. Right now, there's an official break of two minutes to reorganize. Uh, we need a break too. Um, please, uh, well, this is for input and output, right? So get your, your new input of Marta, Coca-Cola, whatever, and I'm sure you will you would know what to do with your output, but not in here, please outside somewhere. And um, maybe it's nice if you could again move up to the far left from your, so seen as from your side, moving towards the uh, exits here. Um, Thank you very much. Also, 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 also anybody um, who is speaking in the second hour hasn't given me your slides yet, um, or you have a web page or some text that you want to display during your talk, please come up and, and get that to me now so we can be um, all ready for the second hour. Thanks.
start again in a minute? Last call, we'll start again in a minute. Half a minute? Some <laughs> Uh, guys, so can I have a hand sign by everybody who's going to be a speaker with the next round? Where are you guys? Could you just please sit in front? Yeah, anybody not in the front row or over here, please come on up. So, right. This is the second part of last day of Lightning Talks. Uh, we are in room four. There's an IRC channel for it if you want to follow it. That's on ircfreenow.org. The name of the channel is 23C3 underscore SAAL4. Right, we will continue uh, with Matthias Bauer on pretty slow privacy. Matthias? Hi, this is a talk about implementing a PGP-like thingy completely in shell script without using OpenSSL, libcrypto, libcrypt, tomcrypt, libbcrypt, or any other C implementation. Okay, um, we do use PGP for, well, mainly two purposes, which is encryption and decryption. Encryption is typically uh, done by calling PGP, no, 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 stay with the PGP slide, please. Sorry. Okay, um, excuse me. <laughs> okay, we use PGP by calling PGP minus E for encrypt minus R for res uh, recipient and then the key ID of the recipient. What does this really do? It creates a session key, typically using uh, def random or something. It encrypts the file we wanted to encrypt with um, a block cipher of our choice in CB CFP mode it pads the session key up to the size of the public key and encrypts that padded session key with the public key of the uh, recipient. Well, and then concatenates the session key, which we encrypted with the key of the recipient, with the file. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, can we do this on a POSIX system without any OpenSSL, PGP, GNU PG, whatever utility? Yes, we can. If we use DC, DC is in POSIX, for the arithmetics in RC4 and RSA, and replace the block cipher in CFP mode, which is basically a stream cipher, by RC4, which is a stream cipher. And for the padding, this is um, this OAPE padding, OAEP padding, which uh, protects against uh, plain text, um, clear text guessing attacks with RSA. Um, this padding typically uses a random number generator which is constructed from MD5. Instead of that, I use RC4. And the rest is shell scripting tricks. Thank you. Um, DC is a very old project. It's older than Unix. It's some Multics tool. It's a Polish reverse multiple arbitrary precision calculator and it comes with every POSIX compliant system. It can compute arbitrary large number. That's cool because we can implement RSA in that. An example, how to convert a series of bytes written down in decimal to a large number, which would be represented by the concatenation of the bytes. Well, it's what this script does. Problem with DC code is it's extremely obfuscated, and this is even pre-Perl. Um, the three numbers 101, 